Hey Stampers, this is Maggie from I Love Paper Crafts. I have a really quick and easy card, this with a little bit of dazzle, lots of stamp sets used on this one, but I just wanted to show this to you because this has really been the hit of the holiday season in my private classes. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom this out so you can see. You're going to see all a bunch of debris around me, but so I'm going to take, this is standard size card base, five and a half by eight and a half. Take that bone folder and make a nice crisp, clean edge. Next order of business is we're going to take this piece, it's two and a quarter by five and a quarter. We're going to take some of our snail. Have you noticed this new snail's blue? Rolls very nicely, love it. And we are just going to line that up. So there's that quarter inch border there. And this is from the Festival of Prints paper, which if you don't have it, it is a must have for the holiday season. It's got lots of masculine prints, which I really like, so it doesn't mean it's just for the holidays. So here we have a three and three quarter by two and three quarter piece a very vanilla which is going to mat on a three by four piece which is just I think three by four is just such a good size so what you're going to do very first thing you're going to take your crumb cake ink pad ink up we're going to light up the trees along the top and then we're going to take the deer from joyous celebration I'm going to put him down in the corner here and then the very last thing we're going to do, and just run. if you're newer to stamping, look for the three dots, push, and then flip. And the reason they flip is so those ink pads will stay continuously inked. Then you're going to take your mirror crisis, put it down in the bottom corner here. This is from Petite Pears. Beautiful. Look how simple that was. You can totally mass produce these bad boys. All right, let's get everything out of the way and start assembling. Let's put this on here. See how easy this card is? Easy peasy lemon squeezy as I like to say. Sometimes when I'm filling these videos my husband overhears these things and he thinks, what is wrong with her? Little does she know, does he know? There's a secret language for stamping. All right. So we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna line it up, attach it on our card base. It needs a little something. So we're going to take some cherry cobbler tool. Everyone always asks me about my bows. Here you go. Tie it in a knot. Especially if you're making a lot of cards at once. You don't want to. And these are my Superstar Cadillac scissors. These are the bleed craft and paper scissors. They're quite expensive, but you know what? Worth every penny. So then you're going to take glue dots. Cut ribbon. Don't cut paper with them. Or make, make designations for your scissors to help keep them sharp. Take a glue dot. Pack that on there and we're going to fluff it up. Love it. Okay, very last thing we're going to do. If you've never done Dazzling Diamonds, prepare for excitement. So you're going to take the 2A glue pen. Now the trick with the glue pen is not to depress it, to just add... The glue goes on clear. Can you, you can't really see it super well on the video. I'm going to put some underneath him. Some in the trees. And you notice I'm putting on the glitter as the very last thing I do. That's my uh, glitter containment technique. Now, these are my Dazzling Diamonds glitter. They're in a huge Gladware container. You should buy shares and Glad and Ziploc. If you'd like me to do endorsements for you, don't hesitate to contact me. I just do this. Hold your card over top. I'm just going to try and put a, shoot it back into the little vial. All right, so it's good on there. Tap, tap, tap. There's a little extra, and what I like about this is you can just brush it off. Oh, I got a little errant, but we're just going to pick that right off. And there we go, super easy Christmas card. Great for mass production. Uh, masculine, classic, fun because it's got glitter. It, it's a crowd pleaser. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at maggie.lovepapercrafts.com. And if you want to buy any of these supplies, you can visit my online store, and the link will be coming up on the screen now. Take care.